today. Uh, we're heading out to the desert to try to find some meteorites. And what exactly is a meteorite? Uh, meteorites are rock from space. Uh, most of them come from the asteroid belt. And they're usually between around 4.4 .4 to 4.5 billion years old. And why is it that we need to go out to the desert to try and find a meteorite? There are a few reasons. Um, first is that they fall uniformly over the surface of the Earth. So usually we want to try to find old surfaces where they've had time to fall and accumulate, just over time. And the second is that they usually have around 10% iron in them. So as they sit on Earth for a while, they start to rust. So if you can find an area that doesn't have too many dark colored or rusty rocks, it's, it can be easier, a lot easier to find them. My name is Jason and I'm a PhD student at UCLA. Um, I study meteorites and today we're out hunting for some. Um, I actually found my first meteorite in this lake bed when I was 11 years old. So we're out here on the edge of this dry lake bed in the Mojave Desert. Uh, it's about a mile and a half across. Um, and it's probably a pretty good area to look for meteorites out there. Um, it's been dry for at least 5,000 years so it's been collecting things for a long time. But on this particular lake bed, if you look behind me, you can see there's this nice rocky shoreline with these berms all built up by ice and waves. And it's, it's a little bit of an unusual lake bed where things seem to get scraped to the southeastern shore in the winter by sheets of ice and the freeze. And this means that anything that falls on the lake gets scraped to the edge. So we can hunt two or three square miles just by walking along the shoreline. So we found around a dozen meteorites between here and a quarter mile north of us, um, all within the first 10 or 15 feet of the shoreline. And it's, it's a really good place to look for meteorites. There are a lot of rocks. Um, you'll notice that I'm holding this weird thing here. It's a magnet on the end of a telescoping cane. So I don't have to keep bending over to poke things. Um, I use this to try to tell what might and might not be a meteorite. It's not foolproof. I mean, I've picked up a lot of magnetic rocks here. They're not meteorites. Um, haven't found any yet today. But because meteorites contain maybe 10 or 20 percent iron, they'll probably stick to a magnet. There are rare exceptions, but most will. So we're just going to keep walking along here, um, looking for things that look kind of smooth, dark, rusty brown. Um, rusty rocks, really. Let's see what we can find. It was a pretty long day, and we didn't find anything. Um, it looks like the conditions weren't very good. If you kind of look this way, see how everything kind of looks like it's the same tan color? It hasn't rained here in a long time, and people have been off-roading all across the lake kicking up dust. And most of the rocks here are just covered in dust, so... If the sun's coming from the other side, you can kind of see color, but it's, it's really hard today. Um, but we did bring a meteorite that we found just here at this pile a few years ago, and it was on a pretty clear day, and things weren't too dusty, so you can kind of see it looks rusty brown, and I think I'm going to put a photo up of that if I can. Ah, hey guys. Well, I don't think we can end a video on hunting for meteorites and not finding something. So, I think we're going to go to a different lake bed tomorrow and see if we can't change our luck. Should be good. Hey 
guys, this is start of day two. We've been hunting for a little bit, maybe into the car over there. Um, this lake bed is very different from yesterday's. We're not hunting on a shoreline or anything like that. It's just a really old clay surface. It's probably 10 or 15,000 years old. Um, we're just out here looking for rusty magnetic rocks. And as you can see, there aren't, there aren't very many. Um, there's not much out here. So, we'll let you know if we find any. So, okay, <laughs> you can see there's a little rusty rock here. There's some other rocks around, but he's pretty rusty. Let's see, yeah, not too magnetic though. Um, yeah, that's old fusion crust, there's a chondral there. Uh, we're gonna talk more about that in I think a different video. It's different meteorite types and what, uh, what characteristics they might have. But that's a little meteorite. It's a fragment, though. There might be more around. I have to look. Should should be more in the immediate area. Let's see. Hey guys, so we just found this meteorite here, and after kind of looking around a little bit, there's another really small piece here. Really small. Um, it's the right color every day. And then just maybe five six feet away. Uh, yeah, another piece there. Uh, and I think that's it, but we're going to have to do a little more looking around uh, before we go. Yeah, uh -huh. pieces of space. Uh, pretty cool. <laughs> um, hey guys, so walked all the way back, got the car, um, and got the car so that we get the GPS unit. We're going to mark all three of these so that we can record exactly where they were found. That's going to help us plot out everything we found on this lake so that we can maybe use that information to find more pieces. Um, might go into more detail about that later, but it's important to record the locations of your finds, always. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna take photos of each of these and then pop them up and bag them. Hey guys, so you don't usually find too much stuff out here. Um, as you can see, there aren't even really any rocks out here. But I was walking along and saw this. And it's not actually a rock, it's a piece of Native American pottery. It's a big one. So we're going to GPS this just to document it, but it's going to stay out here. Hey guys, so we're walking around and we took a few flags with us so we could mark things and then put the car in front of them. Um, here's the next meteorite of the day. It's a little guy. I haven't actually poked him with a magnet yet, but the color's so good. Let's see. He's a pretty strong one. He has a lot more iron than the last guy. Um, yeah. Hi right, guys, so look around, there are still a few rocks, but there's a pretty rusty looking one right here. Um, let's see if he sticks. Oh yeah. So there's a little bit bigger guy. Pretty rusty. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, we picked it up for the video, but I'm going to put this guy back down, um, GPS it, do some photos, and pick it up, and then we can move on.
Hey guys, so it's around 3.30. Shadows are getting a little longer. Uh, we just found this guy here. He's a weathered fragment of crust, but still a meteorite. And then there's another maybe piece of it over, maybe 10 yards away. We're going to go over to right now. And here's number five for the day. Ooh. Here's number six for the day. It's it was almost 4.30. There's this guy here. I haven't picked him up yet. Let's see. Huh? Hey! Ooh, he's a weird shape. That's oh, just clay sticking to him. There it is. Rusty brown. Alright guys, and here is number seven. See? Oh yeah. starting to look about the same and it's a long drive back to LA so we're gonna head out. Um, once we get home we're gonna clean our finds up and have a closer look at them. Um, here are our finds for the day. We found a few more small meteorites just as it was getting dark uh, but they looked about the same as most of the other things we found today and didn't think it was really worth filming them so we Took photos of the GPS, documented them, but we didn't shoot video. Um, I don't want to get too into different types of meteorites here, uh, but you may have noticed that I commented on how magnetic some of the meteorites that we found today were. Um, based on differences in magnetism and some other textural things and features, I mean, it looks like we found pieces of three different meteorites today. Um, the first find was a meteorite with very little iron in it. The second had a little bit more iron, um, still pretty low. Um, and then everything else we found today, all the other pieces, were pretty high iron, and they all look about the same. So we think those are all pieces of one thing that broke apart in the atmosphere, fell on the lake, then those pieces weathered into a lot of little fragments. Um, so that's, that's most of what we're picking up today. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming along on the trip, and thanks for watching.